Hi, this is Chris, and today I'm going to walk through taking an EPA inspection and taking the paper form and turning it into a mobile electronic form. So I'll use the sample EPA inspection, the SPCC field inspection uh, for onshore oil production facilities, and I'll take this form and I'll set it up uh, for a mobile device, and I'll show you how we can push it out to a handheld device that can be used in the field to capture everything fully electronically, um, whether they're in or out of network coverage, and then come back and send that in um, so that all the data is captured electronically. So we'll look at this uh, form first and get some basic information. The, the first is the header, which is the facility information. So I've logged onto our web application. This is available by the SAS application or a on-site installed um, system. So I'll go ahead and create a new form, and I'll call it an EPA on, on sure. And then I'll go ahead and save that. And now I can select an icon for it. So I'll just pick a simple icon. Um, my checklist, I've got a bunch of them out here. Um, I'll do this checklist. Save that. And then I'll go ahead and create a new one. So this is going to create a new form. And I need to add a page first. So the first page is uh, facility information. And we'll go ahead and look back at that form. So you'll see facility information, the name, address, lat long. Some of those things we can capture very easily on mobile. So now that I've got that page, um, I'm going to go ahead and add some questions. So facility name. And I can have a lookup, so if I wanted to have this as a lookup, instead of doing a uh, text box, I could do a lookup value, I could do a date time, a combo, checkbox, so on and so forth. There were a couple of other interesting uh, questions that they had over here. They had the latitude and the longitude. I'll go ahead and put that information on the form so that you can see what that would look like. But instead of doing the actual lat and long and having somebody enter it, I'm going to go ahead and have a GPS capture here. Um, GPS position. And I'll save and close that. When I save this, I'll show you what it would look like on the handheld. So if I preview it here, you'll see what it's going to look like on the handheld device. So that's the facility information. And then instead of seeing, instead of manually entering that, I can just hit go. And on the handheld, it'll pull the latitude and longitude directly from the handheld without having to rekey that. So for expediency sake, I'll go ahead and add some other information out here in another page. Scroll down. Inspection information, so the date, inspection, inspection number, so on and so forth. So inspection page. the date of the inspection. Now, we automatically timestamp these in the background, so you technically don't have to add that, but we'll go ahead and add this information. Pause this for just a second, and I'll go ahead and add some of these a little quicker so that you can see uh, how it show the next section, which is the inspector acknowledgement. Acknowledgement. And uh, the key point on this is that uh, they're signing it and dating it. Uh, if it's a multi-day inspection, you'd see that. So let's put the main, save and close that, and let's add the signature button, uh, the signature capture. Um, 
can also do a time picker. So um, you can see that it's pretty easy to continue adding those. Let's go ahead and see what the next section is. So now we have the facility supplemental information. So I'm just setting up all these questions under the facility supplemental information so that you can see what it looks like. So facility type onshore oil. Um, so let me go ahead and show you what these up here. So if we preview it, you can see that I've got facility supplemental. Um, so I've got each section listed here. So I'll go ahead and click uh, the next one, which is onshore facility type onshore oil. It's a multi, a multi choice group. So we're continuing to add these questions, and I won't go through every single question just so that you can see. You can see that we've got some large sections to add in over here, so I'll put the applicability jurisdictional. And I'll go ahead and type this information in so that you can see that we can add yes, no, and those types of questions. So you can see that I've added um, this next section. And the reason I wanted to show you this is so that you would see um, for the longer questions, we are obviously automatically wrap the text around. We can um, continue to add questions. The next thing I'd like to do is to take this survey and I'm going to go ahead and save and close it. And I want to push it out to a handheld device. And now that I'm ready to push this handheld push this out, I'll, I'll publish that survey, and that means that it's ready to be uh, pushed out to all the handheld users that it's approved for, uh, which I need to do. So I'll go ahead and set the, the users that can have access. So I'll set the admin user, and I'll add a technician role. You can maintain all of your own roles in here. So if you want to create new roles and uh, segregate your forms by that, then you obviously can do that. And I'll save and close it. Now I'll come over to the handheld device, and I'll go ahead and force a synchronization uh, just to keep things sped up over here. And that will download uh, any new dispatches, which would be surveys that I'm assigned to complete, or blank forms. So now my synchronization is complete. Um, I'm showing you my handheld device. So this is actually the screen from my handheld device. Uh, so I'll go ahead and hit Done. And now I can look at my inspection forms. Um, this is going to include anything that I've got in my list. Um, the first list is going to be current inspections, and then the second list, which is start new, is going to show anything that's a, that's a blank survey template that I can take out in the field. So now you can see all of the inspections that I've got, including the new EPA form, which is automatically pushed down. So I'm going to move over to my hand and it To start the inspection, I use my hand and I'll just tap uh, the form so I can see the basic information when I want to start it. I'll double click. You can see that it's starting on the bottom here. So now that's the same form that we had. So let's go ahead and pull this out. Yes. The other point we had a GPS, so I'll go ahead and go here. I may not, well, I actually did do a GPS, which is good. So I picked pick up the GPS. Um, I'm inside, so sometimes you don't get GPS readings when you're inside, but you can see the other forms here. So the date of the inspection, obviously we have a standard date time picker that shows up uh, from the handheld device. So you can pick the date that you're doing it on. Let's say that I did it on uh, Saturday the 14th, and set that date. Um, all the inspector information. You can see the inspector acknowledgement over here with my signature. Facility information, so I use all of that. I'll check off any of the values that apply. When I'm ready to complete it, I'll just hit done. And ask if I want to save before closing. I'll say yes. 
the other question it's going to ask is, do I want to mark it complete? When I mark it complete, it puts it in a queue, and the next time I have a network connection, it'll send it out um, in the background. So you'll see it save it, and now you'll see my current. Uh, this is the list of ones that I've actually completed. It did timestamp it in the background, so you can see that I started it at 3.12 and it ended it at 3.14, um, separate from what I said on the actual inspection form. So now I'll go ahead and push that survey back automatically. I'm going to go ahead and uh, do a light sync. The reason I do this is just for expediency while I'm doing demos, so it'll make it a little bit quicker uh, pushing things out. So now you can see uh, the survey came back. So that's the copy of the survey. That's the template. I can look at my survey results. You can see that this was sent in. It was done. It started. My actual timestamp was 3.12. I completed it at 3.14. You can look at all the results uh, online. So I can look at them in the report, or I can look at them. Um, you can see the GPS coordinates that I got, everything I entered there, inspection information, the inspector acknowledgement, everything that I checked off, so on and so forth. I can also export that um, directly to a report. So if I hit uh, in a report, then it'll pop up a report form. And you can see that in a, a form and save it as a PDF and email it. So now it's actually pulling this up in a report viewer. Uh, you can see it in a default layout. I can show you what it would look like in a front layout. And we can obviously set this up in any type of a form that you want. So you can see the whole value, the whole, whole uh, report. You can save that as a PDF over here. If you want to save it as a PDF and export it, uh, makes it very easy to get data in and out. That is a quick walkthrough of automating EPA forms and turning them from paper into mobile forms.